Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Trails in the Sky Second Chapter. Today, I believe we're heading to the Ravenue Mine or well, abandoned mine. But oh, we got a couple of dead ends to actually like uh investigate here, maybe for some treasure. So we're on the search for a god and or a dragon. One of those is a little less threatening than the other. Uh Baya uh Bayakko's Claws. Why does that name sound familiar? There was an item here, now it's gone. The hell? That name must be through a different... Another game as well. That is a lot of po What the hell? That's awesome! He's also the first person, I think, to get up to 700 attack power. I guess that makes sense, though, right? He... He is kind of a one-trick pony with his attacks, right? I mean, he has some crafts, which are kind of cool. But in all honesty, he doesn't really have much else going for him. Uh, 200 fire septic. Nice. If you read this, the clowns have won. Oh no. Are you trying to tell me the attack of a killer to mount? Uh, killer to mounts. Uh, attack of uh, killer clowns was a documentary? Yeah, I ruined that joke horribly. You're right. Grab this reviving bomb. Good show, actually. Well, movie. Uh, attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Also really good. I mean, not really good. Entertaining. <laughs> Just no. No. <laughs> Just no. Just absolutely not. Nothing. Okay, let's head back down to that fork in the road then and avoid all these guys we fought last time. I don't know how big this trail is. Big enough, apparently. Okay. Yeah, because we came here in the first game when we were hunting the bandits. That was a long time ago. Way longer than I actually give it credit for. So the fact that I remember any of any of the stuff that happened in that first game is kind of surprising to me. Uh, the chest contents have already gone onto a better place. Your pockets, fair enough. Which is kind of sad, because I used to have a really good memory and it came to like video game stuff for like most of my life. But I guess that's just part of getting older, right? You start having a little crappier memory, which is unfortunate. To be fair, though, back in the day when I'd play a video game, I'd usually play it like two to three times in a row before uh, before moving on. The Chrono Trigger, I got all the endings on the SNES. Uh, Breath of Fire 2, uh, played through it after renting it a bunch. Same with 1. Uh, Final Fantasy 2. I probably rented and beat it. I beat like oh, too many times. If I'm being fair with my uh, unbiasedness here, still loved every second of it. That trend did kind of age out though, as I got older and had to work like 40 to 60 hours a week when, and go to college. Yeah, so yeah. Ah. This is the entrance to the abandoned mine. The door's open, do you think? No, it couldn't possibly be them, right? Estelle, look, the chain's been cut. It looks recent too. I knew it. A God's work, I'm sure. Yeah, he must have gone inside. <sighs> we must hurry. Come on, okay. All right, so apparently a God doesn't like keys and he would rather just cut open a lock. Fair enough. I guess there are weirder hobbies. Roar, I'm a dragon. Oh, is that the gospel on its forehead? Thoughts. Are we gonna have to fight this dragon like now? That seems a little bit too fast. All right, that should be enough. We'll need a bit more time to gather the necessary data. Of course, this is the sort of job he'd shove off on me. Having a bad day? I have a guest, it seems. You're the Red Lieutenant from before, aren't you? You got that same golden sword. Gold's not a good metal to use for weaponry or anything, really. It's too soft. Been a while, you bastard. I got Crossner, the Heavy Blade, Racer Rank C. Uh, no, you were promoted to rank B after the coup. No surprise that a former member of the Intelligence Division would already know that. You already, you were always sneaking around in the shadows like a rat back then. 
decided to get a bit more showy this time, huh? Well, whatever. It ain't, I ain't interested in arrest or anything nice like that today. I'm just gonna slice that smug look right off your face. Confident, are we? I wouldn't call what happened showy, personally. It was certainly nothing compared to what you saw ten years ago. I've had a look at the records every bracer, uh... I've had a look at the records of every bracer in this country. <laughs> you and I are very similar in some ways, Agat Crossner. Dots. <laughs> similar, huh? You don't know shit! So don't say shit! Uh, I have a feeling Lao here is gonna beat the crap out of Agat. You should know from our last encounter the difference in our abilities. On top of that, I have a dragon at my disposal. So what could possibly drive you to engage me alone? You think I give a damn about my chances of winning? I can't stand you. I'll take any chance I can get to kick your ass. Unbelievable. This is the extent of your power? I won't even need a dragon. What? Yeah. We may be similar in some ways, but there is one crucial difference between us. That being the reason we take up our swords. The hell are you... I wield mine to discard my humanity and walk the path of ruin. You wield you only wield yours in a desperate attempt to fill the emptiness within you. Burn! Swinging that lump of iron fills that void within you. For a brief moment, your rage latch, uh, lets you flee from your grief. But in the end, you're only deluding yourself. Shut up. Should you continue to hide behind your delusions, you will never move forward. As you are now, you are neither fit for enlightenment nor the path uh, that I follow. You will always remain incomplete. Shut the hell up! Alright, so a god's gonna get his ass handed to him. God, I love this song. Was that a god's voice? No way, it's echoing. It must be in the big opening, uh, open mining area pit. Come on, let's hurry! Oh, but I need a map! Why do I need a map so I can know which way not to go? And so I can get treasure! Huh? The bridge was broken the same time we came here. Wait, what? Hmm, perhaps someone such as the Royal Army or the residents who prepared it. Oh, is this the right way? Maybe. Okay, well, screw this. Okay, that's a dead end. Maybe I can actually only go one way. Or the highway. Come on, treasure. Ultimate weapon. Or, like, a copy of this song, because good lord, it is banging! Treasure. Uh, EP Charge 2. An empty treasure chest, full of promise yet devoid of payoff. A perfect metaphor for me! Wait, like, me or you? Because it might relate to both. Are we good? I guess we're good. Maybe. I'm lost. Is okay, we're back. <laughs> No monsters, which is fine. This way was the lake, right? Yeah, okay. What is this song called? I gotta look it up and like just start jamming to it later. Treasure? Uh, a hundred victory steak. Okay, they look the same to you now. Every one of them, so helpless, so vulnerable, a mere target for you and your insatiable hunger. You're right. They do. I'm a monster. And the chest. Uh, row. Must we go through this again? Yes. Oh, another one. Uh, Terrell? Terrell bomb. Terrell bomb, huh? You rest your head atop the empty chest. You rapidly withdraw as you hear what sounds like a heartbeat. That would be creepy. Also could mean it's a mimic. This the way. Ugh. Nice miss. D damn you. Careless. Has the mer one mercy I can offer you. I'll end this quick. Huh. <laughs> yeah. You broke the sword. Or maybe cut a god in half. Ugh. You gonna assume it's just the sword? Dots. Now then, it's almost time. I should alter the Gospel's control style while I still have a moment. Just a damn second!
Bring back the other music! I'm not done yet. It's not over yet. That's... I got... Tina! Tina! You still cling to that broken lump of iron. As you wish, you shall die as broken as your blade. No! I mean, you probably should have shot him when he didn't see you, but alright, you know, Tina, you gotta work on your ambush abilities, I guess. Short stuff. What the hell are you doing? I, um, I was worried about you, God, so I came here with Estelle and... Tina! You stop them. Oh, we gotta fight a dragon? Oh, we should have put on, put on some fire resistance stuff. Huh? This is bad. Tia, shoot, shoot him. In the head, with the cannon. Please, stay away, please. You idiot, you think please will work on him? Just run already. The granddaughter of Zeiss, Professor Russell, Tita Russell. I heard you were a child genius, but no genius would ever behave so recklessly. In truth, I'm not fond of harming women or children. Still, I'll do what I must. Now, be a good girl and move. So you son of a bitch! I, I won't move! I won't! I got so he's saving me, so I have to help him back! I, I have to! No, that's not it. I just, it's not just that. He's blunt and he's always looks annoyed. So he treat me like a child, calls me things like short stuff, but he's really nice. And he's always watching out for me. He means so much to me. I love him. We showed him. So I won't move no matter what. Tita, you are a very brave little girl. Though I can hardly believe you care that much about a blockhead. It seems you aren't the only one who wished to challenge me, so I'll take my leave now. Huh? Oh, you shot the dragon! I'm a dragon! Main guns and port side guns. I can't read that fast, Morgan! Oh, this is a good song, too. I'm supposed to shoot loud, not the dragon. They finally show their faces. Now we begin the final experiment. Huh? Wait, you! Don't forget, Agat Crossner. As so as long as you continue to elude yourself, you won't amount to anything. Nor can you protect anything you deem important. <laughs> Wait! Now look, I stood here and listened to you and run your mouth for what felt like it forever, but I am so not letting you get away with that! Still bright, you too should take this to heart. Huh? Once this experiment ends, our plan will enter its next stage. If you fail to keep your wits about you, I guarantee you will not come uh you will come to regret it. Oh, it's a dragon. Wait, what's that supposed to do? You know what? I really hope my dog's not messing up this recording session. Because he's laying his head on the mic stand. God damn it. Curse you, dragon. You will not flee. All hands fire. Fire begin it. Bring it down. <laughs> As if your cannons could do anything against the legend. Let us go, Ragnar the Ancient. Yo, yeah, but like, it hurt it the first time? Didn't it? He like cried out in pain when it shot it. So, do we not have a boss? That's kind of odd. Wait, wait! Why aren't we chasing him? What are you doing? Does this have something to do with your stupid brace of grudge? Not in the slightest. That muscle wasn't even scratched by rounds from a combat vessel. What do you intend to do? Uh, what do you intend to do that cannons cannot? Well, I got a stick. Courage and recklessness are different things. I'm sure you all saw the damage to Boze and Ravenu. This has, in essence, become a war. War? Leave the bread to the bakers, Miss Bright. This is a war. The professionals will handle it. And if you want my advice, you're better off searching for Ouroboros' center of command. But, but... You're kidding. 
Hey, your sword got fixed. Never mind. You're in bandages now. What the hell just happened? The god. The god. Take it easy, okay? I just finished patching you up. Ugh. You are the heavy blade of god, yes? Cassius tells me you're quite an active young bracer. Don't care about the old, what the old man said. General, listen. Leave the bread to the bakers. War to the professionals. You seriously saying that? Of course I'm serious. Unlike braces who exist only to protect private citizens, we must protect the country as a whole. We must protect liberal soil, those who live upon it. The army is the only answer that can... <laughs> protect liberal soil and those who live upon it, huh? Don't make me laugh. Oh, my God! My God, calm down, please! You always, you're always, always too late. You idiots move like slugs. You just keep on about, you just worry about keeping everyone in step. You can't do shit without orders. You can't even protect the things you say you will. You can't do it now and you couldn't do it ten years ago. Are you, I wonder, who the hell can leave it to you? This time, gotta protect. Gotta protect Miska and myself. God, is he okay? No. Get his ass handed to him. He doesn't seem to have reopened his wounds. He's simply exhausted, physically and mentally. Oh, God. He's making an even bigger fuss than usual. For now, he needs to rest in his own bed. His home is in Ravenue. My ship can take him that far at last, at least. Uh, thank you. Wait a minute. How do you know about a cat's house in Ravenue? I remember that I met him once before. The little boy that day has grown quite a bit. What day? It was immediately after the Hundred Day War. The day the memorial, uh, the day the memorial to his sister and the other villages were erected. So backstory? Here, get some backstory here. Why does that tractor look like it's broken still? Oh wait, is this current time? Okay, I thought we were having like a flashback. Smart man, always locking his house. Keeps protagonists like me from actually coming in and stealing stuff. I see, what a mess. Mr. B Miss Bright, General Sir, I'm sorry to have caused you so much trouble. No, in the end we couldn't stop the dragon's rampage. I'm sorry we weren't of much help, really. You have no reason to disparage yourself, Miss Bright. Even with the dragon still in the loose, you have proven indispensable in the aid you have given. You successfully evacuated the market, and Miss Crossner's firefighting and Mr. Crossner's firefighting efforts were marvelous. Only well, braces could have responded so quickly. <laughs> I have to admit, General, it feels strange to hear you say that. Um, but about a god, is it true that during the war his little sister was um? It, it, it is yes. Lindell's forces and Imperial armies were fighting on the village outskirts. During the battle, some Bronian incendiary rounds hit the village. Ultimately, some of the homes were burnt, and some of our village lo villagers lost their lives. One of them was Mishka Koshner, Koshner. In a way, the royal army is capable for the entire incident, or culpable. The defensive line was established, we established to protect the village and up doing little more than drawing the fire uh, fighting into it. The end result was large portions of the village being laid waste. Oh. And the order to establish the defensive line came from my desk. You can very well, you can very easily say the blood of those people in my hands. Or is on my hands. General, sir, please, you don't need to blame yourself. The Royal was doing their duty, that's all. The whole thing was just a tragedy built on several coincidences colliding. No, Ryzen, you didn't make excuses for me. Those sorts of justifications hold no meaning for those who lost the family. Those like the red-headed young men. Well, after the battle, I attended the funeral for the village's dead as a representative of the army. I still clearly remember the eyes of one particular red-haired young man in the attendance. Bottomless sadness, twisted by rage, eyes such as I can never seen before or since, and I was the one responsible for giving him such eyes. No, that isn't true. God never blamed the uh, never blamed the Abronians or the Royal Army or even you, General. The person he blamed was himself. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, clearly that's the case, right? He's just been like, well, as La was saying, he's just been trying to find a reason to shift away the feelings he has. All I know is what I observed, but Agat always seemed to blame himself in some way for Mishka's death. It wasn't even remotely true, of course, but he convinced himself that it was. And it happens. 
all the time. People blame themselves for like tragedies they had really no bearing on. But for some reason, I'm not sure if it's actually survivor's guilt there or if it's some like another form of it. But yeah, it's like like houses burned down. Like oh, I could have saved them. No, you probably could have just killed yourself. Like it's it's you know I get it. But it, it's kind of weird how the human mind works at the same time. And then, after practically torturing himself over what happened to the village, uh, what happened, he left the village. He wanted to search for an answer, uh, to find a way to make it up to Mishka. I always thought his time as a seek, uh, street dog in ruin was because of that, because he never found his answer. He did eventually get his head screwed back on and began walking the path of a bracer, but I don't think he ever truly found the answer he sought. He's still trapped by the same sadness, the same anger at himself. How terrible. Hey, General, are you sure you won't let us brace his help against the dragon? What? We definitely have some strong points the army doesn't. We're smaller so we can respond faster, we're closer to the civilian population. It's a bit easier for us to get to places where the army has trouble getting to, uh, to, too. I know we could help you if you let us. What? Now that I've heard all this, I think a god became a brace because he thought there was potential in those abilities. Then will find a way to make peace with his sister. Yeah, I think I can understand now why God became a bracer when Dad invited him. Dad became a bracer when he lost Mom, after all. So to prove the potential of bracers, and more than anything, to help the people in need around me, I want to do everything I possibly can. So please, let us help you. How beautifully said, Estelle. Yeah, very well said. Thoughts? I wonder. Had braces been in Bose ten years ago, could it all have been- If I was here, no. And that probably still would have actually happened. Hell, it probably would have been the cause of it by accident. It's nothing. Cassius is swamped with other duties, so I will be taking command of the army operations against the dragon. I need to head back to Hawking Gate and hold Consul over our next moves. I will take your suggestions under advisement. So then, do not be hasty. I merely said I would take it under advisement. I will contact your guild house tonight with the results of our, de our deliberations. That is all I can promise. Right, we understand. We'll be waiting to hear from you, sir. I must pardon myself here. Ryzen, my thanks for your hospitality. No, no, please come by any time. So I'm guessing what we saw got when he was holding his sword, unbandaged, just standing there, was just a... an aspect ratio... resolution ratio... Um, bug, not actually meant to be seen. We've seen that a few times throughout the two playthroughs that we've been doing with the uh, first chapter in this one. It's always kind of funny, though, when something like that happens. Okay, we better get back to Bose. God should probably stay here, huh? Injuries like his will take at least a few days to heal. Let us let us let him sleep for now. Yeah, good idea. Let's check on him before we go and fill in Tita with what's going on. Oh, um, Elder Ryzen? I know now's not the best time to ask, but please take care of a god for us. <laughs> you don't have to worry. He's part of our family here. Besides, compared to ten years ago, a dragon is nothing. We should be thanking the goddess no one died to yet. <laughs> Keyword, yet. All right, his house was literally right here. Convenient. Estelle, hi Tita, how's the god doing? He's still asleep, but um, his face looks a lot better, so I think he'll be okay as long as he gets a lot of rest. I see. So this is a god's house, huh? That purple teddy bear must be his. It is it is small, but it's warm and comfortable. This is where he lived with his sister, then. Hey! This photograph! This looks like a picture when a god was a kid. That means this girl must be... Yeah, it's Miska. Oh, what a sweet little child. She and a god seem to have been quite close. <laughs> I think so, too. The God and Mishka look really happy after all. Yeah, they really do. God looks about 14 in this, so... God's 24? I would have thought he was older. So Mishka would have be, would be, what, 12? God's, uh, God's got the same sort of face that just screams, I'm the biggest prankster, the world's biggest prankster. <laughs> I bet he was an interesting kid. Hey, now, don't read too much into an old man's, uh, into a man's old photographs. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> really? Still, though, why did a god keep quiet about his sister? 
keep talking about her as if she was alive. Yeah, but, um, if you think about it, I got never said Mishka was alive. I know, he always made it sound like she was dead to me. He just came back to visit, and I bet he meant he, vis he visits her grave. Yeah, now that you mention it, yeah. He still should have. Uh, he still should have known we had the wrong idea about it, though. Why wouldn't he correct us? I don't know, but God said once work calmed down a bit, he'd introduce us all. I think he was going to tell us then. That's right. I bet that's it. Well, we can ask him later when he, he what he intended. But um, Tita, we need to head back to Bose Guildhouse soon. But uh, what is it? Explain the army would be contacting the guild that evening. Oh, I see. Um, uh, Estelle. You don't need to say anything, Tita. You're going to say you want to stay behind and take care of a god, right? Um... <laughs> underestimate me at... Underestimate me at... Underestimate me at my... Your own peril, my little Tita. I can read inside your mind like a picture book. It's a big sister thing. Ah. <laughs> Leave the rest to us, Tita. You just put your efforts into nursing a god back to hell so he can be back on his feet. And give me my ornaments back. Stell, everyone. Thank you so much. Aw, oh, you know what I need to thank us. Yes, you do. There's only one thing I'd, I'll ask you to do when a god wakes up. Just tell him what we just told you, okay? You mean the stuff about braces and the army working together? Yeah, also, I want you to stop a god from trying anything reckless, physically if necessary. You can actually use your cannon, Tita! God, you should have shot Lao, like, from the side! You're not to let him out of his bed until he's fully healed, got it? Yeah, I'll do my best. I'll blow his knees off if I have to. All right, so we're heading back to Bose. Well, we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Hey, if you're watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash Give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.